Brass chips should never pile up on the key machine. If you are cutting 30 to 100 keys per week, the machine should get a complete cleaning at the end of the work week. If you are cutting over 100 keys per week, the key machine should get a complete cleaning at the end of every work day. A complete cleaning should consist of removing the hood and cleaning all the brass chips from the machine. Do not use compressed air to remove brass chips. The chips could collect on the electrical contacts and create a short circuit. A shop vac machine or small paintbrush is recommended for cleaning off brass chips. Clean vice jaws regularly so that brass chips do not collect. To prevent miscuts, it is essential that both keys lay flat across the entire width of each vice jaw. Apply a small amount of grease to the inside surface of the top vice jaw. Thin layers of any kind of household grease will allow the vice jaw to make better contact with the key blanks. It is important to keep the moving parts lubricated. An oil cup is provided to keep the cutter shaft bearings well lubricated. Five drops of lightweight machine oil is sufficient for the oil cup. If you are cutting 30 to 100 keys per week, oil should be added to your key machine every three to four weeks. If you are cutting over 100 keys per week, add oil every two to three weeks. The motor requires lubrication on an annual basis. Refer to the motor label for details. When replacing or installing any parts on the key machine, use a rubber mallet instead of a metal hammer to prevent burrs on parts. Burrs will cause the key machine to bind on the working areas. It may also make other working parts function improperly. When new vice jaw studs are installed, always use blue removable Loctite. The Loctite should be applied to the lower threads on the vice jaw studs. Use either an appropriate stud wrench or grip pliers to install the studs. If using grip pliers, clamp on the middle surface section of the stud to prevent damage to the threads. Never bend the vice jaw studs in the carriage casting. When installing new studs, apply a small amount of grease to the upper threaded portion of studs for longer service life. Thin layers of any type of household grease is suggested and will allow the vice jaw stud to make better contact with the wing nut. Never reverse the order of the thrust bearing washer set. The bearing washer should always be in between the flat washers. In addition, they should always be under the wing nuts and on top of the vice jaw assembly. Any other arrangement could strip the wing nut, vice jaw stud, or carriage casting. Periodically check the belt tension on the cutter shaft and motor pulleys. The belt tension should allow for approximately one half inch of deflection, a quarter inch up and a quarter inch down, at a point midway between the two pulleys. Not having the proper tension on the drive belt may cause wear on the belt, cutter shaft, and motor pulleys. Do not use pliers or other tools to tighten the wing nuts on the vice jaws. Using tools will strip the wing nut, vice jaw stud, and the carriage casting. Firm hand pressure is sufficient. Apply a small amount of grease on the threads of wing nuts for longer service life. The grease will allow the wing nut to make better contact with the vice jaw stud. Keep the carriage shaft free of brass chips. The carriage shaft should be lubricated with a thin film of oil and wipe free of brass chip buildup. The carriage should move freely without binding. Always keep the cutter clean of brass chips. This is a precise cutting tool and should be handled with care. Do not let any foreign objects or instruments come in contact with it. Do not run the cutter into the vice jaw as this will dull the cutter and reduce cutter efficiency. Cutters are not warranted against breakage or abuse, and there are three signs of a dull cutter. First, time. A dull cutter takes longer to make the cuts. Second, sound. A dull cutter will emit an irritating shrill sound as it cuts the key. Third, burrs. A dull cutter will leave a heavy buildup of burrs on the key. There is a laminated version of the maintenance tips which is ideal for keeping next to your key machine. You can receive your handy guide by contacting Kaba Ilko at 1-800-334-1381. In the last section of this video, we will cover how to select and duplicate VATS and transponder keys. If your store has not begun to duplicate these types of keys, it may not be necessary for you to watch the remainder of this video.